A tornado might be the IED that goes off in combat for a soldier. It might be the car wreck. It might be the school shooting of yesterday in Florida. Uh, it is a sudden traumatic event that just puts you on your heels. It is total chaos. And uh, that's where the Lord carries you, other people carry you, and you are somewhat dysfunctional in the middle of that. Conversely, if you look at a bookend at the other end of trauma, you might say it would be a hurricane. A hurricane you see coming from afar off. You can prepare for a hurricane, but when it gets there, it's overwhelming. Uh, it's like maybe knowing that cancer is inside your body, gnawing away. It's maybe knowing that there's a prized, uh, treasured relationship that's unraveling. You know, it, so you have these different degrees of trauma, but it all hurts. It's all theoretical until it happens to you. When it happens to you, then you're in the middle of it. And oftentimes when it happens to you, you, you can r regret, golly, I wish I'd prepared a bit more. Golly, I wish I'd invested in my faith a bit more, in my friendships a bit more. Golly, I wish I'd invested in my family a bit more. Invest now so that you're ready for those storms of life. And then you have the techniques to know how to bounce back and not get stuck, how to loosen the grip on that bitterness and other things. And uh, let's don't get confused here. It's not about human strength or grit. I said, not by power or by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. This is not resilience. This is resilience God style. Don't forget about that. We always tell people how to run faster, jump higher, etc. We really need to tell them how to lean on the Lord and trust not in their own understanding. And that's the way they are truly resilient in life.